everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your news shot. I want to go to MedicalExpress.com to discuss something that a lot of people... Now, this has not gained as much traction um, as the legalized marijuana fight, right? But what researchers are coming to find out is, holy moly, what a benefit uh, psilocybin has to the human body as well. A lot of people, uh, they find it very effective in the treatment of PTSD and other ailments. But now, scientists have finally been able to synthesize it in a lab, which means because they can synthesize it, they can patent it. So this is another case of, oh, we don't want to legalize this stuff because if we do, well, we're not going to make any money because we can't patent it. Well, now they're able to synthesize it So, they can put a patent now on psilocybin or synthesized psilocybin. This is a team of researchers from Friedrich Schiller University in Jena has figured out how to make psilocybin the chemical responsible for creating hallucinations in people who consume magic mushrooms that produce it naturally. In their paper published in the journal Anguanti Chemae, The team described isolating the enzymes needed to create the chemical, developing the recipe, and creating psilocybin samples in the lab. Now, people have known the hallucinogenic effects of eating magic mushrooms for hundreds or even thousands of years, but it took Albert Hoffman's efforts to isolate the psychoactive ingredient in 1958, and since that time, many scientists have tried to figure out exactly how mushrooms make psilocybin so that it could artificially synthesize and sell the drug medicinally. Now, up until now, attempts have failed, but growing mushrooms for commercial use have proven difficult due to its unique attributes of the mushroom. Now, there has been some huge, huge advances in the research with psilocybin. And again, PTSD is one of them. The other thing that it's really, really good at helping people is with depression and anxiety. Now, you can microdose with psilocybin, and it ends up being much better with no side effects compared to your um, SSRIs and your antidepressant drugs from Big Pharma that cause people to, like, shoot up movie theaters and go absolutely batshit crazy, which is what we don't want, right? So what happens? Oh, we go all natural and look what happens. Everything's here. It's amazing. You know, God gave us a cure for every single thing out there. So we don't need big pharma to do all this. All we got to do is look and find the truth about what's good for us. Because we can see that big pharma, the FDA, the CDC, oh, they're all holding hands and singing kumbaya. Another good thing that psilocybin is good for Smoking cessation. Yeah. If you don't want to smoke, psilocybin's the way to go, they say. Which, let me ask you something, folks. You know, a lot of people get vilified because they take this because it provides a euphoric effect. What's so bad about being healthy uh, about being healthy and happy? Why do we vilify happiness? If somebody wants to take magic mushrooms because it makes them happy and they do so the privacy of their own home or in a way that doesn't infringe upon the rights of others, what do you care if they take mushrooms, if they smoke weed, or if they do anything else? These are things that we need to really confront as a society because we've seen time and time again that A, prohibition never works. But it goes way overboard. And when there can be cures and treatments to ailments that have plagued humanity for a very, very long time, and now more than ever before because we have a bunch of soldiers coming back that are screwed up from being in theater in a war zone for so long, why would we not put every effort to get the best possible treatment out there for them And other people, I mean, it seems to be like common sense, right? Until you throw greed into the mix. And just like I said yesterday, greed. 
is the cornerstone of the rot that's going on in this country, in the world. And until we tackle this greed issue, we are never going to be able to right the ship. Not in the United States, not anywhere on planet Earth. So just food for thought. But interestingly enough, they're able to synthesize psilocybin now. Woohoo! I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.